Hello everybody. Now there's actually something I wanted to talk about. And it's actually been a topic that I've been talking to my friends quite a lot about. And it's something that we all have agreed upon. And that is the invasion of our privacy. And what I mean by that is that we all have cell phones. Well, most of the majority of people these days have cell phones. And what I have found is that people abuse the fact that you have a cell phone. I mean, I have found that ever since you have a cell phone, people who call that phone expect you to answer that every single time that you they call you. No, there are times when I do not want to answer the phone. And I choose to ignore it. But I find that they leave a voicemail and you don't want to listen to it, but you have to. Because it's there. But have you ever found out that you just dread that? I find that this is just one of the ex these examples that I have for you that I like to try to discuss about. It actually means that we're losing our privacy. It's not just cell phones, it's house phones, it's uh, email, it's the internet. It's hard to regulate if you ask me. It's just like you can go on the internet. I Okay, go on to Google. Google your name. And what you will find is that you'll find a lot of informa information about yourself. You could probably, if you have a MySpace page, that'll come up. If you have a Facebook page, that'll come up. Anything else that you might have on yourself will come up. So basically, anything that you have on the internet is visible to the world. That's pretty alarming. I don't like the fact that almost, you know, you got your, your address, your telephone numbers, previous phone numbers, previous a addresses that you've lived at, and it's available to the world. None of that is kept private. Yes, there are phone books out there, and you can just look up somebody, but you, if your stuff is listed in, your information is listed in the phone book, that's one thing. But is all your prior addresses listed in the phone book? No. But it's available by a website. Now, I, well, I, I found that like an invasion of privacy. I mean, I just sometimes I just think that there's way too much information about ourselves out there on the internet. And uh, when you use websites and stuff like that, you shouldn't really give out your real name. I mean, that is if you don't want anybody, you know. It's just safety. But besides from being space safety reasons, I have just found that we've lost our privacy. People can call you, people can text you, people can send you letters and all the types of regular mail to you at any time they want. Now people will argue with me, it's like, well, that's the, that's... That's great. That's what technology has made things better for us. But I just argue that a lot of people abuse it and it just shouldn't be so widely available to everyone. I mean, I can find all kinds of information about yourselves on the internet. Just Google your name. You'll find all kinds. It's going to be pretty alarming what's available to the world. Thank God, uh, don't have anything uh, illegal da that you've done, or else they'll be able to find that too. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't matter if you've been in trouble or not, or you're just like me and haven't done... You're just, you know, you just uh, hang out on the internet and you like to have fun and you, you like to use YouTube and... <sighs> but I just want to say is that nothing is private anymore. So if you believe that there's privacy uh, in the world, it's not, it's very limited if it's even there anymore. Now, I w w the purpose of this is that I actually want to get your opinions as well. I would like to know what you guys all think. Do you think that, uh, that you've lost your privacy? Do you think it's a problem? Do you think it's going to get worse? I know I do. It's only going to get worse, and there's, we've got to do something about it. Anyway, 
thank you for watching, and I really will be looking forward to your comments. And uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. A woman, woman, why must you suffer my sins? A woman, a woman, why does your anger begin? Does it matter what you...